Hey, this is Skiva with Between Realities, and I am here on the floor of CES with VR engineers. Did I say that right? Yeah. Merrick. Yes. Yes. How you doing, Merrick? I'm great. Thank you, Skiva, for coming by. All right. I just had one of the coolest VR experiences of my life, uh, where I was in a cockpit of a plane, and and everything around. The, the control panel was in virtual reality and I could see my hands in the actual physical control panel in front of me. And it was one of the most mind-blowing things I've ever seen. Uh, how, did, what, how, did, how did this even come to be? Yeah, like with our headset, we specialize in high level of immersion, right? For that, you provide wide field of view and high resolution. And where the headset finds its customers is within the pilots who need this to train. And then you slowly go forward and you find out, okay, but when you need to train to become pilot, you also need to learn like haptics, the, the muscle memory. And for that, you need to see your actual hands which are aligned with all the knobs, all the instruments. So what we did is for the new generation of XTAL, XTAL 3, we developed our own mixed reality module, which matches the resolution of the, of the screen. So 4K per eye resolution. And with that, what we are able to do is we mask out the parts where you need to see your hands and where you need to handle the throttle and the gauges. And the rest is virtual, so when you put it on, you feel like, okay, I'm in the airplane, but I'm sitting on the runway, right? Yeah, Yeah, and this is one of the coolest things ever. You're just going to have to take my word for it, right? We got some video footage to show you on this, but it was absolutely unreal. I'd love to know more about the headset itself, what some of the, the specifications are. Does it have eye tracking? All of, all of these things, if you could summarize. Okay, mm -hmm. so spec-wise, it has two 4K fast-switching LCD VR panels. Uh, one for each eye, right? Uh, it's connected to the computer via display port, USB, and you need additional power. Uh, the last line is actually built with the virtual link connector to the adapter, and then you have these to connect to the PC. Of course, the best thing is to run it on the latest GeForce cards from NVIDIA, but we know there is a shortage, right? So we have to handle it somehow. Yeah. But anyway, Aside of that, we are also running it, for example, from the Razer notebooks with 3080 integrated, which is very nice because we did a lot of optimization work. Regarding the visuals, the reason why the headset provides wide field of view, to, uh, totally immersive, together with high resolution, is because we built a new version of lenses. They are non fresnel lenses. They are almost... Uh, there is only a little of distortion and then we compensate for that. So hopefully, I don't know if you noticed, but if you compare it with other wide field of view headsets, you should see that there is only almost invisible distortion on the sides, but the full field of view is really clear and really crisp. Yeah, and, and I can attest to that. It was one of the most beautiful images I've seen uh, in VR to date. It was absolutely great. No distortion. Uh, I couldn't see any screen door. Uh, the, the, the transition between the mixed reality and the virtual reality was very smooth and, and super, super nice. It was just one of the most unreal experiences uh, ever. But uh, can, can consumers buy this or is it something only uh, for professional right now? How are you working that whole thing? Consumers can purchase it, it's just more expensive, you know, so for people who, for example, own their own plane or are in supercars, I would recommend it because the immersion is the best and you will have a great experience. But of course, if you are budget restricted, then you have to go with normal headset. Our headsets are available at Extal Shop, Extal.shop or Extal.pro and you can purchase it for around 10,000k depending on the on the customization on the version right because what we offer is one is purely virtual reality version that one has only the inside out tracking that we built in and then you can have the mixed reality version that one has these two 4k front facing cameras that one is around 11k uh, or we can build you a custom build that has some specifications. So for example, we can build you in the ultra leap uh, hand tracking yes. to have with it or other sensors. But these are more custom builds yeah. and they are very often uh, connected with certain project or certain type of the deal that we are doing. Wow, so so will this actually run on SteamVR? Could I hop in if I did have deep pockets and play Half-Life Alex on this thing? 
you can and it's incredible experience. I will recommend it. And uh, for that we we can ship you the headset with the dongles for the Steam VR tracking and you can connect them and have the full experience. Wow, that is so cool. I uh, I I really would suggest this headset to anyone with deep pockets, but especially for companies out there that are looking to to train in aeronautics, uh, in in car simulation, any of these things. Uh, one of just absolutely phenomenal headset and uh, absolutely phenomenal company here and employees that are running this thing with a lot of passion for VR. Um, you guys are, are helping making this dream come true and I, and I appreciate it. I hope you have an awesome, awesome time with the rest of your time here at CES. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot, man. Thank you so much and thank you so for coming because, you know, today CES is great because we are showing it for the first time for public and I'm super happy that you had the experience. Thank you so much. Nice. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs>